Welcome to Study the Bible with me. Today we are continuing from where we stopped last time, so grab your Bible and let's dig right in. Isaiah chapter 26 In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Open ye the gates, that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high. The lofty city, he layeth it low, he layeth it low, even to the ground. He bringeth it even to the dust. The foot shall tread it down, even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. The way of the just is uprightness. Thou most upright dost weigh the path of the just. Yea, in the way of thy judgments, O Lord, have we waited for thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Let favor be shewed to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of the uprightness will he deal unjustly, and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Lord, when thy hand is lifted up, they will not see, but they shall see, and be ashamed for their envy at the people. Yea, the fire of thine enemies shall devour them. Lord, thou wilt ordain peace for us, for thou also hast wrought all our works in us. O Lord our God, other lords beside thee have had dominion over us, but by thee only will we make mention of thy name. They are dead, they shall not live, they are deceased, they shall not rise. Therefore, Hast thou visited the dis and destroyed them, and made all their memory to perish? Thou hast increased the nation, O Lord, thou hast increased the nation. Thou art glorified, thou hadst removed it far unto all the ends of the earth. Lord, in trouble have they visited thee. They poured out a prayer when, they, when thy chastening was upon them. Like as a woman with child that draweth near, the time of her delivery is in pain, and crieth out in her pangs, so have we been in thy sight. O Lord, we have been with child, we have been in pain. We have, as it were, brought forth wind. We have not wrought any deliverance in the earth, neither have the inhabitants of the world fallen. Thy dead men shall live. Together with my dead body shall they arise. Awake and sing, ye that dwell in dust. For thy dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment, until thy indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood, and shall no more cover her slain. Chapter 27 In that day the Lord with his sore and great and strong sword shall punish Lavithan, the piercing serpent, even Lavithan that crocked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. In that day sing ye unto her a vineyard of rain, red wine. I, the Lord, do keep it. I will water it every moment, lest any hurt it. I will keep it night and day. Furry is not in me, who would set the, bar the briars and thorns against me in battle. I would go through them. I would burn them together. Oh, let him take hold of my strength, that he may make peace with me, and he shall make peace with me. He shall cause them that come of Jacob to take root. Israel shall blossom and bird, and fill the face of the world with fruit. Hath he smitten him? As he smote those that smote him? Or is he slain according to the slaughter of them that are slain by him? In measure, when it shooteth forth, thou wilt debate with it. He stayeth, 
his rough wind in the day of the east wind. By this therefore shall the iniquity of Jacob be purged, and this is all the fruit to take away his sin. When he maketh all the stones of the altar as chalk stones that are beaten in sunder, the grooves and images shall not stand up. Yet the defensed city shall be desolate, and the habitation forsaken and left like a wilderness. There shall the calf feed, and there shall he lie down and consume the branches thereof. When the boughs thereof are withered, they shall be broken off. The women come and set them on fire, for it is a people of no understanding. Therefore he that made them will not have mercy on them, and he that formed them will shew them no favor. And it shall come to pass in that day, that the Lord shall beat off from the channel of the river unto the stream of Egypt, and ye shall be gathered one by one, O ye children of Israel. And it shall come to pass in that day, that the great trumpet shall be blown, and they shall come which were ready to perish in the land of Assyria, and the outcasts in the land of Egypt, and shall worship the Lord in the holy mount at Jerusalem. Chapter 28 Woe to the crown of pride, to the drunkards of Ephraim, whose glorious beauty is a fading flower, which are on the head of the fat valleys of them that are overcome with wine. Behold, the Lord hath a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hail and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, shall cast down to the earth with a hand. The crown of pride, the drunkards of Ephraim, shall be trodden under feet, and the glorious beauty which is on the head of the fat valley shall be a fading flower, as the hasty fruit before the summer, which when he that looketh upon it seeth, while it is yet in his hand, he eateth it up. In that day shall the Lord of hosts be for a crown of glory, and for a diadem of beauty unto the residue of his people, and for a spirit of judgment to him that sitteth in judgment, and for strength to them that turn the battle to the gate. But they also have erred through wine and through strong drink are out of the way. The priest and the prophet have erred through strong drink. They are swallowed up of wine. They are out of the way through strong drink. They err in vision. They stumble in judgment. For all tables are full of vomit and filthiness, so that there is no place clean. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk are drowned from the breasts. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to his people. To whom he said, This is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing, yet they would not hear. But the word of God was unto them precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, that they might go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. Wherefore, hear the word of the Lord, ye scornful men, that rule this people which is in Jerusalem, because ye have said, We have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us, for we have made lies with lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. Judgment also will I lay to the line, and righteousness to the plummet, and the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the waters shall overflow the hiding place, and your covenant with death shall be disannulled and your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then ye shall be trodden down by it. From the time that it goeth forth it shall take you, for morning by morning shall it pass, shall it pass over. 
by and day by night and it shall be vexation only to understand the report for the bed is shorter than that a man can stretch himself on it and the covering narrower than that he can wrap himself in it for the lord rise, shall rise up as in mount perizim he shall be wroth as in the valley of gibeon that he may do his work his strange work and bring to pass his act his strange act now therefore be ye not mockers lest your bands be made strong for i have heard from the lord god of hosts a consumption even determined upon the whole earth give ye ear and hear my voice hearken and hear my speech doth the plowman plow all day to to sow doth he open and break the clothes of his ground when he hath made plain the vest thereof doth he not cast abroad the features and scatter the cumin and cast in the principal wheat and the appointed barley and the rice in their place for his god doth instruct him to de discretion and doth teach him for the features are not threshed with a threshing instrument neither is a cart wheeled wheel turned about upon the cumin but the features are beaten out with a staff and the cumin with a rod breed corn is bruised because he will not ever be threshing it nor break it with the wheel of his cart nor bruise it with his horseman this also cometh forth from the Lord of hosts, which is wonderful in counsel and excellent in working. Chapter 29 War to Ariel, to Ariel the city where David dwelt. Add ye, yah to yah, let them kill sacrifices. Yet I will distress Ariel, and there shall be heaviness and sorrow, and it shall be unto me as Ariel. And I will camp against thee round about and will lay sage against thee with a mount and i will raise forts against thee and thou shalt be brought down and shalt speak out of the ground and thy speech shall be low out of the dust and thy voice shall be as of one that hath a familiar spirit out of the ground and thy speech shall whisper out of the dust moreover the multitude of thy strangers shall be like small dust and the multitude of the terrible ones shall be as chaff that passeth away yea it shall be at an instant suddenly thou shalt be visited of the lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire and the multitude of all the nations that fight against ariel even all that fight against her and ham munition and that distress her shall be as a dream of a night vision it shall even be as when an angry man dreameth and behold he eateth he but he awaketh and his soul is empty or as when a thirsty man dreameth and behold he drinketh and he awaketh and behold he is faint and his soul hath appetite so shall the multitude of all the nations be that fight against mountain zion stay yourselves and wonder cry ye out and cry they are drunken but not with wine they stagger but not with strong drink for the lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and hath clothed your eyes the prophets and your rulers the seers hath he covered and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed which men deliver to one that is learned saying read this i pray thee and he saith, I cannot, for it is sealed. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he saith, I am not learned. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as these people draw near with near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their hearts far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men therefore behold i will proceed to do a marvelous work among these people even a marvelous work and a wonder for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the lord and their works are in the dark and they say who seeth us and who knoweth us surely your time your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed 
as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, He made me not. Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, He had no understanding. Is it not yet a very little while, And Lebanon shall be turned into a beautiful, a fruitful field, and the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest? And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. The meek also shall increase their joy in the Lord, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed, and all that watch for in iniquity are cut off. That make a man an offender for a word, and lay a snare for him that reproofeth in the get, and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. Therefore, thus says the Lord, who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob, Jacob shall not now be ashamed, neither shall his face now wax pale. But when he seeth his children, the work of mine hands in the midst of him, they shall sanctify them my name and sanctify the holy one of jacob and shall fear the god of israel they also that erred in spirit shall come to understand and they that murmured shall learn doctrine we're going to be stopping here today next time we're going to be starting from chapter 30 i'll see you then